foundation page, or this one's just going to be a decorative page, actually. I have cut out the word December, and I welded it together on my Silhouette Cameo, but my, I, I forgot to change the gauge on the cutter. Sorry, I'm losing my words. And so it didn't cut all the way through. So I had to like take it off the mat with like an X-Acto knife. So it's a little bit, um, um, like extra, like almost like a distressed edges, which is okay. So anyway, I like the way this is. I did it longer over here cause I envisioned it getting, um, hole punched in, but I'm a little concerned that it's a little bit, um, thin, like, you know, especially here and stuff that I might need to back it. And so I'm kind of figuring maybe I can do it with this. This one definitely lets it pop. This one's also from the main kit from Allie Edwards. And so I really like the way that looks, um, a lot. I just can't decide if I want to have it all the way to the edge where I had it envisioned to be hole punched. Um, and maybe just take off a little bit so that it's not so big over there or just center it is really where I'm at. But I wanted to jazz it up a little bit more with the stamps I had purchased from Allie Edwards and do some of the outlines in gold and boss them or silver. I have both of them out so that it looks a little bit more special. So that is what we're going to do so that it can add a little bit more of a pizzazz to it. And I haven't been heat embossing much uh, at all lately so we're gonna see <laughs> how well I do so this one is one of the outline ones and I feel like if I stamp hmm if I change colors I almost need to do all the gold and then the silver or maybe I should just definitely stick to the gold I think I'll just stick to the gold that way I can just stamp a lot right now and not worry about changing colors. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry. Just <laughs> party foul. There's my Starbucks cups for a next layout. Okay, so what I'm gonna do as well is put down this mat, the craft mat, so that nothing is too much. Okay, and let's get started. I will put you on fast forward now so that I can decorate this with some of the stars and then be done with this page as well. Okay, so this experience, I'm going to need like more tips and tricks on how to do um, embossing with uh, stamps because <laughs> this was rough. So like, you know, I think, hey, I got my, you know, watermark, Versamark um, embossing stamp ink set, got my stamps, no problem. And I decided just to do them all gold, simple, simple. And I don't like, I don't know. Like I said, I just don't, I'm very like amateur. I've, I've done it in the past, but this was just disastrous and started off too with, the, you can see what I already did, like put the powder and then I was like, oh, let me gather it in the coffee filter. But then as soon as I got all the areas coated with the embossing powder and then got it all over the mat, it was disastrous. This was like the funniest process. Every, t every turn I was just like, damn it, damn it. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I need some tips and tricks on embossing. So as you can see, I stamped, I added the glitter. Now what I'm, what someone probably will tell me is like, maybe I should have done like one at a time and granted, maybe I should have, but I was just trying to like, let me just stamp it all with all the different shapes. Let me put all the powder and just let me heat emboss the whole thing all in one time. So yes, if your if your biggest tip was to do one per section, um, I will definitely try that the next time, but this was just definitely funny. And then also what happened too with the heat embossing powder is that it got all over the paper even when it wasn't um, with the ink there. So it was really like just like static, I guess, that was all over it. So it was just getting stuck to everything. And then when I was trying to clean it off with my brush, you can see that I was definitely making more of a mess, I think. So yes, when you when it's heat embossed, it does look better. <clears throat> um, but where I didn't get all of the powder off of the uh, pattern paper, it just looks like it's sprinkled with glitter everywhere, which is a fine look too. So definitely a messy look, but overall a uh, learning curve, but it still turned out good. So I definitely think I mention all of that as I do it. So give this a try. This all I did was I, um, it was a sheriff uh, font and all I did was weld it all together and stacked it and made sure it fit into a eight by 10, um, page projector. But yeah, like I was showing you, I might be just adding it to pattern paper 
which makes it easy. And so as you can see, I was trying to do in the cleanup and then it got all over this, the Tim Holtz Ranger uh, craft mat. It just did not come off of it. I ended up just like dumping it in the tub for a quick, a quick rinse. And then I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> this has been the messiest project ever. I probably have heat moss powder all over my desk, um, which is fun. It's the Christmas season. There's supposed to be glitter everywhere. <laughs> Okay, so I'm done. I, I think I learned my lesson a little bit there. I haven't heat embossed anything in a very, very long time. Um, so it's a little messy, but I kind of actually like it. Even when I kind of didn't clear off all of the um, embossing powder, it just kind of gives this like sheen of snowy, goldy goodness. So I'm going to roll with it. And with that too, I feel like it does need to be matted so that it pops. And yeah, I might embellish it with one of those layered stickers. You know, put the little poinsettia there. That could be really cute. Okay. Yeah, I can do this. And so what I'm feeling is like this will be a decorative page, maybe how hold a number two. So like if it's um there's a bunch left over from last year's number. So like if it's the number eight, for instance, um, it can just adorn it on it too. Or even on there. Or even just, I mean, because the black is a little hard right now, but so say if I made that white with one of these, could be really cute too. And that way, it, then the story will be, so this is the eight, and then maybe in the back will be a full page photo. And I can deal with that as like a day. But at least all the crafty parts done. So I like that. So that's going to be done with this one. And I'll, let, I'll decide. I think I like this one the best to adhere it to. So I'm going to leave these together as well. Thank you for joining me for this foundation page. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Have a good day. Bye.